What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today I want to show you guys my absolutely overpowered, obnoxious, grenade launcher spamming, and seeker mine spamming machine that I have built. In the footage that you see right now, I was able to throw four seeker mines and get a fifth one back at the end. Now this engagement only took about a minute and 30 seconds, so getting five seeker mines is pretty ridiculous in my book. I did make one small cut in it because I didn't get my seeker mine back, so I just cut out the 32 second cooldown time. To show the turret taking out the final guy and giving me my fifth and final seeker mine. At the moment, this build is safe from nerfs. There is nothing on the skill side of talents that are being nerfed into the ground yet. I mean, I suppose after posting this, after Willis Gaming copies it and shows it to the world, that it may very well get nerfed into the ground. I haven't tested this in PvP because I'm not a PvP player, but I do have the feeling this will do really, really well in there. And you will see why very shortly. Also, all of this footage was in a challenging mission. Sorry for the minute long intro, but I wanted to show how obnoxious and how overpowered this build really is. So we are obviously going to go for the demolitionist because of explosive ordinance, a 25% increase explosive damage, affects explosive grenades, skills, and effects. Synergizing with the seeker mines is the 40 millimeter grenade acquisition, so explosive kills have a chance to drop signature weapon ammo. And finally for the 15% increase to LMG damage, you can go with an SMG you can go with both it's however you want to make your build now for how my RNG worked out on this it ended up being a 727 it can be a 777 it really doesn't matter as long as your utility is 7 and up the other two numbers do not matter for the weapon I am using it is a military m60 e4 she fires like a sloppy pig but hey she's got the perks I need preparation kills grant plus five skill duration ammo and charges to the next skill used max stack is 10 that's skill right there allows me to use nothing but damage mods and cooldown reduction on my seeker mines instead of using something like plus four mines then we have extra plus 20 magazine capacity which really don't need that honestly this gun really needs stability or accuracy and pretty much the second most important perk to this build is rooted while equipped and in cover all skill damage and healing is increased by 25 percent for 10 seconds buff is lost when exiting cover can occur once per 20 Five seconds for my secondary I'm using the nemesis there is no real reason for it for this build other than the fact that it's just really overpowered but stupidly enough which I wasn't using in this and I should have been and thank God I checked I should have been using something with recharged on it while equipped skills deployed at full armor have 25% duration charges and ammo which will definitely make this more ridiculous and I will be switching to it my sidearm is a d50 with stop drop and roll on it because stop drop and roll is amazing. So hopefully by now you've gotten yourself a pen and a piece of paper and you are writing all this down because time for gear. The first piece is a Providence defense mask for the plus 10% skill power. I do have the 8% health unlocked because of the knee pads but we will talk about that in a minute. It has a plus 4045 health plus 227 skill power. The main talent we are using on this is destructive plus 20% explosive damage. You will see a lot of that. Since I am using an LMG for this build, we went with a Petrov Defense Group chest piece, plus 10% LMG damage, plus 408 skill power, 5.5 weapon damage, 3% critical hit damage, 4.5% critical hit chance. And again, the main talent is a plus 20% explosive damage. And then I just threw a defense mod on there because it has a defense mod slot and that doesn't matter. Next up, we have the holster, which is a DNH for the plus 5% accuracy because Lord knows I need it. Attributes is plus 672 skill power and it has hard hitting on it. I kind of wanted more explosive damage, but I already modded the skill power on it, and it's a part of two other builds, and I just have not gotten another drop that was like this, so is what it is for now. But it does work pretty well, and you do still need some damage to elites inside the DZ and outside of it, so definitely, it's decent. And now, on to the backpack. We are using an Alps Summit Armament for the plus 10% cooldown reduction. 
The attributes are plus 6.5% critical hit damage and plus 17% cooldown reduction. Most importantly are the talents. Skilled. Skill kills have a 25% chance to reset skill cooldowns. This is how you saw me getting 5 seeker mines within a minute and a half. And also it has destructive once again. But skilled is very very important to have. It synergizes so well overall with this build between the turret and the seeker mines. Both of them will reset one another and if you paid close attention in the footage that I showed, the turret will keep them pinned down and suppressed while your seeker mines go out and do their business. So basically you can just be a one man army and not have to worry about rushers unless they're baton ladies or the little explodey guys for the outcasts. Next we got the gloves which are Eraldi holdings for the plus 10% accuracy, attributes plus 8% LMG damage, talents destructive plus 20% explosive damage once again. And I know that 8% kind of sucks but hey I'm waiting for some RNG to uh, praise down upon me and finally we have the knee pads which are Providence defense which plus 10% skill power plus 8% health which we don't really even need in this build that plus 8% to health really isn't doing all that much I mean we are already really glassy so I don't know I mean it's kind of a double-edged sword at this point other than that just an offensive mod slot on it I really really want to replace these with China light industries knee pads for the extra 10% explosive damage. Maybe those will roll with health and cooldown reduction and destructive. I mean, I know, that's wishful thinking, but I, that's what I want to replace these with. So, just important as everything else, on the Seeker Mine itself, I am running a 25.6 cooldown reduction mod on it, a 16.2% damage increase, and also a 17% damage increase. And let's get into the stat sheet and maybe talk about it a little bit after. So, overall, we have a 125% explosive damage stacked and 150% damage stacked when rooted is procced. Now I cannot find any information anywhere if explosive damage is capped. I really don't think it is because the more and more stacks I put on as I was building this, the more and more ridiculous it got. Weapon damage 27,504, 4.5% crit hit chance, 35% critical hit damage, 67% headshot damage, 40 range, 5.8 reload time, 0% reload speed bonus, 25% accuracy, a 25% stability. Offensive, 4% weapon handling, 8.5% all weapon damage bonus, 0% assault rifle, 33% LMG damage, 15% SMG, 0% shotgun, 0% marksman rifle, 10% pistol, 0% rifle damage bonus, 15% damage to elites, 0 health damage. We're just gonna skip defense because, well, there's nothing really there. Most importantly are the skills, 1,756 skill power, 38% skill cooldown reduction, 1,755 drone skill power, same for chem launcher, same for pulse, same for hive, same for firefly, 1,929 seeker mine skill power, 1,755 shield skill power, and 1,870 turret skill power, which the mods on the armor is what is boosting up the seeker mine and the turret skill power. And that, my friends, is my ridiculously overpowered skill build. Every skill and every piece of this works together and synergizes so wonderfully. The cluster seeker mines will replenish the seekers themselves, the turret will replenish the seeker, the seekers will replenish the turret. The seeker mines will also give you a ton of ammunition for your grenade launcher because they're all explosive kills. You can just chuck seeker mines all day long. It just, it is a lot of fun. I didn't expect this build to become as powerful as as it actually is. I just wanted to make a build that was fun and fun to mess around with while everything's getting nerfed and then like it just turned into this and I was like I was smiling and giggling blowing everybody up and just having a grand old time with it so I don't know give it a shot see if you like it I don't know I'm curious but overall I thought it was a hell of a lot of fun anyways guys let me know what you think in the comments section down below about all of this again all of this is nerf safe not a single one of these perks or skills or anything is on the nerf list hit the old like button for me if you could a lot of work went into this subscribe and all that other junk and i will catch you all on the flip side peace